first actors in every culture, in Africa and Asia, in every culture, in North America, begins theater by putting on a mask. The very first thing you do to play a character is you put the mask. And so in Latin, persona, the Latin word persona means mask. Personality comes from the mask. So when you see old editions of plays, it says dramatis personae, the masks of the play. So every role was considered a mask. Uh, and all of this seems kind of uh, appropriate to me that I would be unpacking my masks for you because the story of the Commedia dell'arte is the story of traveling troops, Italian troops, for about 250 years, uh, 1550 to 1750, 1800. The truth is that theater is not, uh, the soul of theater always has to do with the passion of the people who create it. Um, but I, I hope tonight I'm going to make you think in many ways. I, I hope to raise many questions. And one of those is, you know, why, why has amateurism developed such a bad name for itself? I was trained by great professionals. I was trained by Marcel Marceau in Paris. Marcel Marceau was something like a father to me. So to speak of him gives me pleasure. I was a student with him when I was 19, and we used to rehearse. We rehearsed some final end of the year projects late into the night. And um, I remember him having much more energy than the teenage students. I have to take him out. I probably won't. I won't play in this mask tonight, baby, but he doesn't want to stay in his, uh, in his cage there. These are souls. They are truly human souls in a box. Sometimes people will tell you that the Comedia de la Arte characters are stereotypical or stereotypes. Um, I would say that they are archetypal, if you're familiar with that idea. We have a little bit of each one of these characters in each of us, and we tend to encounter them um, in our dreams. Having played in the mask, coming out of the mask, it feels a little bit like having, having dreamed. I'm not quite sure who I am, but I am certainly not the man you may have seen here a moment ago, although I know him intimately. Uh, yes. uh, I don't know who this man is, but it's a small mask, right? <laughs> This, this clothing, I don't like to even call it costume, um, a young uh, designer made this for me, spent something like a year making this costume. One, one walks differently. You'll see my body change shape tonight with the masks. In Native American culture, in Asian culture, in Japan, in African cultures, um, but men and women have masked themselves to become someone else. I like to say all of these characters are, are part of who, we are, who I am and who each of us are. But they cannot be mere stereotypes. It's not possible, as you will read in many theater history texts, texts, it's not possible that these characters have no psychology. It's not possible that they're not fully developed human beings. I want to paint a picture for you that these characters are not simply of interest to a very narrow um, a, very, a very narrow cultural interest. In fact, they are of the widest possible influence in European culture for centuries. And what you're here to see is how the actor plays in the mask, right? And how, if we begin with Pantalone, the merchant of Venice, I say I read the mask. <clears throat> this is the, the actor's part of the mask. By the way, Comedia dell'arte, art is skill, yes? Art is craft. So, artisan, think about, you know when you get Italian ice cream, it's gelato artigianale. It's artisanal, right? So there's craft involved. There's arte, yeah? And already, this is already half a math, right? Already it changes my, my diction a bit, yeah? <laughs> and you watch, you see my energy through the, yeah? When he thinks with his jaw. 
years of 